Disaster alert in Switzerland. Imagine waking up one morning and having to leave your home, not because you're moving or going on vacation, but because a whole mountain is threatening to collapse into the valley. It sounds like something out of a disaster movie. Unfortunately, that's the harsh reality right now on Switzerland. In this video, we'll take a look at the situation and the original footage, so make sure to stick around until the end. A warm welcome, everyone. If you're interested in fascinating and sometimes terrifying natural phenomena like this, then you've come to the right place. On this channel, I regularly explain what's happening on our planet and in the universe. From spectacular discoveries to dramatic events like the one we're discussing today. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. You'll never miss a new video again and you'll be helping me immensely. Thank you very much everyone and let me know where you're watching from. I'm particularly interested in whether we have any Swiss viewers here today. Write it in the comments. And now, let's head to the Swiss Alps, where a natural phenomenon is currently unfolding. One that's both fascinating and frightening at the same time. The small village of Blatten in the canton of Valley usually looks like something out of a picture book. 303 inhabitants, picturesque location, perfect for tourists. But recently, the place has been deserted because all the residents had to be evacuated. The reason? A landslide of gigantic proportions is threatening to engulf them. Imagine two to five million cubic meters of rock could thunder down the mountain at any moment. To illustrate this amount, that's equivalent to about 2,000 Olympic swimming pools filled with rock. And that's just the beginning of the story, because what really worries the experts is a possible chain reaction that could affect the entire valley. The problem actually started over a week ago, when large masses of rock began to slide down Beach Horn, a mountain nearly 4,000 meters high. Geologists estimate that one and a half million cubic meters of rock have already crashed down toward the valley. But that was just the prelude. Another three and a half million cubic meters are at risk of following. The situation is so dramatic that even cows had to be airlifted out by helicopter. And if that image doesn't make it into the 2025 year in review, then I don't know what will. But what makes this situation especially critical is the glacier located below the unstable mountain. This is where it gets really complicated. All the debris that has already fallen from the mountain does not simply land somewhere. It collects on the glacier, and this glacier is moving downhill at an alarming speed of about 10 meters per day. That is exceptionally fast. Jonas Jeitzinger, spokesman for the regional task force, sums up the concern. What if the glacier mass comes instead of the landslide? If the mass of the glacier comes down into the valley and blocks the Lonza, this will also affect the communities at the front of the valley. The Lonza is a river in the canton of Valle. If it were blocked by debris and ice, this could lead to flooding in other towns as well. The events on Wednesday night were particularly dramatic. In a single night, more glacier mass entered the valley than ever before since monitoring began. A reporter on site reported enormous amounts of material being dislodged, with thousands of cubic meters of ice, snow and rock thundering into the valley. Trees simply snapped under the force and were swept away. It was a natural spectacle that was both impressive and terrifying. The researchers are talking about a possible chain reaction. Matthias Ebener from the regional command staff explains. We fear that the accumulation of debris could trigger a chain reaction, i.e. large mudslides. His words are clear. We hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. For those unfamiliar with the term, mudslides are sudden, often extremely destructive avalanches of debris and mud. The technology used for monitoring is also interesting. A thermal imaging drone with night vision impressively shows how the debris cone is piling up in the valley and pushing ever closer toward the Lonza River. These modern monitoring methods are crucial for warning the population in good time. Okay, so this is what the situation looks like on site right now. But something like this doesn't just happen out of nowhere. So what's behind these kinds of rock slide events? This is where things get really scientifically interesting. We are dealing with a phenomenon that we are not only observing in Switzerland thawing permafrost. In the high Swiss Alps, the ground is normally permanently frozen. This permafrost acts as a natural adhesive, holding the rock masses together. Permafrost is defined by temperature and is therefore extremely sensitive to climatic changes. When this adhesive thaws due to rising temperatures, the mountain masses lose their stability. The result, landslides, mudslides, and dangers for mountain dwellers are becoming increasingly common. Incidentally, block glaciers are a typical landform of mountain permafrost. These are masses of debris consisting of coarse blocks and ice that creep downhill at a speed of decimeters to meters per year under the influence of gravity. It may sound slow, but when you consider that we're talking about massive amounts of rock here, the danger becomes clear. 
Unfortunately, the situation in Platten is not an isolated case. Back in 2023, the residents of the village of Brienz in eastern Switzerland had to be evaluated when a huge boulder slid down the mountainside. And in 2017, the village of Bondo was hit by a mudslide. It's a pattern that keeps repeating itself in the Alps. However, the residents of Blatten are remarkably calm. Matthias Bellwald, the mayor, says, We are crisis resistant here in Lushenthal. Nevertheless, he admits that the longer the crisis lasts, the more difficult it becomes. Similar cases have shown that such dangerous situations can last for months. I find the technical measures being taken here particularly impressive. An avalanche barrier ensures that the sliding material is deflected to the west and flows into uninhabited areas. So far, it has fulfilled its function, but experts are installing a second camera with an oblique view of the glacier front to enable precise statements to be made about movement and crevasse formation. The scale of the threat is also clear from the figures. According to experts, around 9 million tons of debris are pressing down on the glacier, it's really hard to imagine. The speed at which it all happened is particularly dramatic. The glacier breaks increased rapidly, with huge amounts of material being carried away within seconds, and once nature gets going, it can't be stopped. In uninhabited regions, this is fascinating to observe, but here we also have the human component. Persistent fog and drizzle have hampered observations, which would have made an early warning much more difficult. Reconnaissance flights were therefore carried out to better assess the situation. All scientific disciplines work together perfectly here. Meteorology, geology, glaciology and engineering. Ultimately, this prevented a human catastrophe. 300 people had to leave their homes not knowing if or when they would be able to return. Their animals had to be brought to safety and their entire lives have been turned upside down. But with Swiss composure, they are coping with the situation. The situation in Blatten shows once again how important modern monitoring technology is because without GPS sensors, laser scanners, seismometers and thermal imaging drones, it would be impossible to predict such events and warn the population in time. Science is literally saving lives. Here. That's why, even though the situation in Blatten is obviously unpleasant, there are hopeful aspects. The technology works, the protective measures are effective, and the population was brought to safety in time. This shows that as a society, at least here in Switzerland, we are definitely capable of dealing with such challenges. Whether things would work out just as well in Germany, we'll leave that question unanswered for now. I'll keep you updated on any further developments in Switzerland. So go ahead and subscribe now, and let's switch over to another part of the world where there's some good news. Because the ice isn't melting everywhere, researchers in Antarctica recently made a surprising discovery. There, the ice mass is actually increasing again, by several gigatons per year, in fact. That might sound paradoxical, but there are some really fascinating reasons behind it. If you want to know how that's possible and what it means for our planet, be sure to check out my new video in the top right about this spectacular discovery in Antarctica. And as always, you'll find another exciting video about space and science at the bottom right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.